Well, hello, my peeps. It's Antoinette here. And I was just going to make dinner, so I thought I would uh, <laughs> bring you along with me. I'm going to make my uh, bacon cheeseburger uh, green bean casserole in a cast iron pot. My Wolfgang Puck. And I got this at Aldi's. This was a great deal considering what's happening at the meatpacking plants. So this was a $6.99 for two pounds, 80-20 from Aldi's. So I'm going to get it started, get this in the pot, and uh, saute it up with some uh, white onion. That's like a, a medium onion, all chopped up. And uh, uh, we'll see you on the other side. I have the hamburger in the pan, but it's not cooked up yet um, because I just wanted to show you the seasonings I'm going to use. You know that I love my uh, five salt and pepper seasoning rub from uh, Kroger. And um, so I just really liberally uh, sprinkled that over the hamburger quite well. And then you can use whatever you want. I'm going to throw in there, not yet, I'm going to wait until the hamburgers, uh, you know, cooked up. But my um, gourmet collection, uh, Herbs de Province, it's just an herb blend. This has basil, oregano, fennel seed, lavender, parsley, tarragon, rosemary, sage, thyme, and marjoram. Just a really nice uh, mix of seasonings that's not necessarily Italian, you know. And then... Sylvia's Soulful Seasoned Salt. So, I don't have an issue with salt. So if you do, you know, you know, you know what seasonings you like. So I'm just gonna, woo! I do like things kind of spicy, so, oh, this I'm gonna wait on. Put that over there. In the onions go. I'm just gonna let that cook down, and we'll be back in a flash. I have um, drained most of the, the grease into this bowl here and uh, I reduced the heat now and I'm going to add, you can use, um, I'm using bone broth, one cup, uh, or you can just use beef broth. Heavy whipping cream, one cup of this. They finally opened up my fitness center today, I'm so excited. So I'm going to get in there. Okay, next, Philly, a whole block I'm going to add to it. In the pot goes the block of cream cheese. We're just going to cook this down a bit. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in a palmful of my Herbs de Provence. And then I'm going to put in uh, some garlic from Aldi's. Let's see. I'm going to put in two teaspoons. However much garlic you like. So it's been about 15 minutes and I just took the lid off because it needs to reduce. I got these from Aldi's, uh, these organic green beans. They're uh, snipped and ready to use. They're already washed and everything. Uh, they're really quite, quite nice. Uh, I'm just gonna probably uh, cut them in half or so. Well, some of them are kind of big, but uh, this is two pounds of green beans or you could use three cans um, of green beans. I think that's like 15 ounces. Three, yeah. So I'm going to be using probably three quarters of the bag. I'm just going to blanch them and uh, not cook them completely because they will be going in the oven. When I come back, then we're going to put the casserole together. Ooh. 
This is really looking great. It smells wonderful in here. All right, let's put the casserole together. I have the oven preheated to 350. And uh, I use I, just about, maybe a little bit more than half the bay. So about a pound of beans. And uh, this, so, oh, this is just, it's so creamy. Mm. I should have my apron on. <laughs> that has so much flavor. Very delicious. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this meat sauce down in the bottom of the pan. So good. It smells amazing in here. Oh, they're mowing my lawn. That's what I love about condo living. <laughs> open. It's so nice out today. You know, the thing about casseroles, um, I'm known in my family as the casserole queen. Because in my, you know, being a, a, a poor single mother, I learned to just throw whatever I had in the, uh, in the cabinet and make something out of it. So, uh, yeah, when I say I'm making a casserole. Of course you are. <laughs> so, all right. Anyway, so I've got the meat sauce down. And then next, I'm going to put the green beans. Just layer those up on top. Oh, this is the perfect amount. These green beans are really good. Mm. Well, you know, fresh is always better, but uh, you know, you use what you have. Um, I have over here, I have two cans of the Kirkland Organic uh, Sliced Mushrooms. I always have these, and uh, I just find that mushrooms go bad so quickly. and. So I buy a case of these, so then I ha always have mushrooms on hand. Otherwise, I always have some dried out crappy mushrooms in the refrigerator that I wind up having to throw away. The only time I ever use fresh is if I'm at the store and I know I'm going to be using them today or tomorrow. So, uh, but I've learned this way I'm not wasting mushrooms. So I'm just going to put mushrooms on the top. You don't even have to put mushrooms on. I just love mushrooms. Uh, some people don't. So just two little cans. Even one would be okay, but I'm going to put them on there. All right. And I also like having these mushrooms for making my eggs. Because one can will last me all week. Next, bacon. Okay, I didn't make this bacon. No, I didn't. But I do like to have a bag of this on hand. The bacon crumbles from Costco. This lasts like a year. Let's see. Well, I'm just opening it now today. Yeah, it's good until January 2021. But it lasts forever in the fridge. And they're nice crumbles. It's nice to have on hand uh, for eggs, just like my mushrooms. All right, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some bacon crumbles on the top. Not much, just two handfuls. Perfect. And then you wanna use um, a cup of mozzarella cheese and a cup of uh, cheddar or whatever cheese you have. I'm, I want to polish off this uh, chihuahua 
I found out that's how you say this. Who names cheese after a dog? Or is the dog named after the cheese? I don't know which. But I want to use this up, so I'm going to just use... I don't think I'm going to be using that much cheese. Use as much cheese as you want. I think two handfuls. That's how I roll. That's how I measure. All right, and then this is the finely shredded cheddar from Aldi's. That chihuahua I got at Myers. Okay, two handfuls each. That's it. It's going in the oven on 350 for about 25 minutes. See you when it comes out. Look at this. It's been cooling off for about an hour, um, but it's just, it's just fabulous. Mm. There is so much flavor in here. It's the sauce. You should try this. I'll put my recipe down in the description box. And then you can, you know, add or subtract whatever you want from it. But this is excellent. Make the sauce. It's all about the sauce. So... Thank you, peeps, for coming by for another video. And uh, we'll see you next time. We're going to see you very soon because I am on vacation next week. Memorial Day uh, week. Have you clicked that bell? <laughs> Make this. It's really good. We'll see you next time. Looks like I have some dinner to deliver to my Kathy neighbors. <laughs> There's three in this building alone. They're gonna love this. Mm. Delicious.